Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Kevin. Today marks the feast of St. Luke, one of the four evangelists who we know is responsible for writing the Gospel of St. Luke. He's also responsible for writing the Acts of the Apostles. We invoke his intercession in a very special way at our Novena Mass this evening. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to my God, God and to you, and to you my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, for me the Lord and the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you, we adore you, we, adore you, we, we glorify, glorify you. you, we give we you thanks, thanks to your great glory, Lord God, Lord, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only God and Son, Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of God, Father, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, of the world have mercy on us, you take, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father, Father have, have mercy on us. us. For you, you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, Christ with, the with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who chose St. Luke, to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor. Grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Demas has deserted me for love of this life and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark to come and bring him with you. I find him a useful helper in my work. I have sent Titius to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus and Troas and the scrolls, especially the parchment ones. Alexander the coppersmith has done me a lot of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. Be on your guard against him yourself, because he has been bitterly contesting everything that we say. The first time I had to present my defence, there was not a single witness to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign 
and declare your might, O God. The Lord is just in all his ways. They make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. The Lord is just in all his ways. Peace stands with you in Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to your Lord. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. To ask the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever hut you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Heal those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The response to our prayers of intercession this evening is, remember your church, O Lord. Remember your church, O Lord. God, the Father of light, called us to the true faith through the gospel of his Son. We pray to him now for all his holy people as we say. Remember your church, O Lord. Father, you raised your Son from the dead to be the great shepherd of the sheep. Make us his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of others' lives. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to plant in people's hearts the seed of imperishable life. May we all labor to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. Remember your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring others to your friendship. Remember your church, O Lord. We pray for all who are poorly in mind or body at this time, praying through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes, that they may be strengthened, sustained, and encouraged, particularly in their hour of greatest need. Remember your church, O Lord. We pray for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Pray through the intercession of St. Luke that they may be consoled. 
remember your church for Lord. We pray also for all those who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father will grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Remember your church, O Lord. You placed your Son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive all our deceased into the happiness of your kingdom. And we remember in a special way our Alvina Mass this evening, Mary Laverty, Kerry McCann, Kathleen McCann, and Joseph Byrne, all of whose anniversaries occur today. And we continue to keep in our prayers those who have died of recent days and weeks, commending to God's infinite mercy Gabriel MacDonald, Lane of Canbergy, Anne Fleming, Mary Flemina Gibson McCusker, Annie Cullen, Tony Quinn, Joe McNamee, and Maria De Deus. And we pray God may welcome these and all our own deceased loved ones into his heavenly kingdom of peace and life. Remember your church, O Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, you chose St. Luke to reveal the mystery of your love for the poor in his preaching and in his writings. Grant that those who already acknowledge your name may continue to be one in mind and heart, and that all nations may see your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> now we pray our Levine and prayers in honour of our Lady of the Miraculous Men. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and then kindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. They shall be new the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the light of the same Spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us, happy course to you. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us, happy course to you. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us, happy course to you. Most holy virgin, I believe and confess your holy and immaculate conception. Pure and without sin. O most pure virgin, through your virginal purity, your immaculate conception, your glorious prerogative of Mother of God, obtain for us of your divine Son, humility, charity, great purity of mind and body, the gift of prayer, a holy life, and a happy death. Amen. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired by this confidence I fly out to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, simple and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despised of my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. O Immaculate Virgin, Mother, Mother of Mercy, refuge of sinners, who by your wondrous revelation to St. Catherine, did promise that all who confidently were the miraculous level, and come to the altar repeating the prayer, O Mary, conceived by without sin, pray for us have the force to you, would we receive abundant graces. We, we poor sinners, encouraged by your promise, come with the utmost confidence, to implore your power of intercession. Amen. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ and our Mother, penetrated with the most lightning confidence in your all powerful and imitating intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous men. We, your loving and trusted children, 
implore you to remember us, the graces and favors we ask during this novena, it may be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. In silence, we now offer up our respective petitions and intercessions. So that union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Bear for us your happy course to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Bear for us your happy course to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Bear for us your happy course to you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual leader. Blessed be God forever. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Uh, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good, the good of all, His holy church. Grant through your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart, we pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast day of St. Luke may bring us healing and give us glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's 
is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now, in the ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously made holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the death of resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs. With St. Luke and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession of your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope. Eamon, our bishop, Michael, 
its assistant bishop, John, are retired bishops. The order of bishops, all the clergy, all the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, <coughs> as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
The Lord sent out his disciples to proclaim throughout the times the kingdom of God is at hand for you. O sacrament, most holy O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy O sacrament divine, all praise and all 
Spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Okay. 